go to everybody. Neighbor Midwest Solutions bringing you our latest internet video series. It is uh, Monday, December the 29th, and uh, we appreciate everybody being here with us uh, at this time. We are going to um, take a look at some of our trade recommendations uh, coming up here over the next week, what positions that we're in, and um, Hope that you will uh, give us any comments or feedback that you have on our ideas. All right, let's uh, first of all talk about our risk of loss in trading futures and options is substantial. Each investor and trader must consider whether this is a suitable investment. Our past performance, whether actual or indicated by historical test results, is not indicative of future uh, results. Trading advice is based on information taken from trades and other sources that we believe are reliable. We do not guarantee that such information is accurate or complete and should be not relied upon as such. Trading advice reflects our good faith judgment at a specific time and may change without notice. There is no guarantee that the advice we'll give will result in profitable trades. And of course, everything here on our website is copyright of 2014 of Midwest Market Solutions. All right, since we've uh, talked about that here now, let's uh, go to some charts here. We are in a soybean trade. You can see a chart here of the soybean market. We got in uh, right in this area, right here, right in the thick of this uh, market. That's kind of what you would look at and say uh, you can make a case that we've got support here around this 1032 area and uh, we're in more of a sideways pattern than anything uh, since really since December 8th. So likely to see this market break out of this uh, pattern and uh, we tried um, right in this early part of that time frame, tried to break below it and are back into the sideways mode. And I think once we get above this area, we can project this rally going um, pretty high. In fact, let's use our target shooter and we'll uh, say what our target is gonna be based off of this. this is right in this 1090 area. I think we've listed 1081 on our uh, target shooter on our website. That's where we're gonna try and take profits on our trade as uh, we think that's a good spot for it to go to. Now, let's want to look at a weekly chart of the uh, soybean market. So let's uh, flip charts over here. And we're going to look at soybean market. And let's look at a pattern that's developing. Look at this little wedge or triangle pattern as well. That has uh, been in the works here since November the 14th. And we kind of saw it on the daily charts, a little glimpses of it. But this pattern is... Uh, pretty predictable as far as uh, which breakout occurs. If we break out to the upside, which I think we're going to do uh, this week, and we could confirm that by getting above uh, the 1067 high, that tells us we're going to have a rally up to at least this 1090 area. This would be the resistance from this weekly chart up in this 1090, 92, 93 area. That would be our uh, projection. Of course, if we break to the downside and probably would need to go below the 1023 area to uh, see that breakout confirmed. Your next support is down here at this 990 area down in this area. So um, pretty good indication of market's going to move here this week uh, with a breakout one way or the other. Of course, you notice our indexes here, the uh, fund index at 95%. Commercials are selling into it down here at 5%. And that's what happens. Uh, you know, that it's usually not a good indication of a change in trend occurring, but it does indicate the funds are moving in one direction. And that's where the, at least the near term is going to be for this market. And that looks to be to the upside as um, that's where the trend is. So that's where the funds will go. All right. So let's go back to some daily charts here and see uh, what uh, a new recommendation that we have here this wheat market okay there's been a couple times where we've tried to buy wheat here this right in this area again here again here all these have been buy signals in the wheat market and the market has responded it's reversed off its highs from december 18th and pulled back so at that time chicago wheat went to 677 pulled back all the way to 606 so that uh you know it's right around a 70 cent pullback in just over a week of time and now the market likely to go back up and at least test back into this area 636 area so we're going to try and buy if we take out this inside bar high at 617 we're going to try and get long for a rally at least up into resistance around 637 that will give us about 20 cent uh, 
profit potential on the trade. That's well worth, worth the risk of putting a stop in here around 606. So we're risking about 11 cents, hoping to make around 20 or more, depending upon how this market wants to move. Okay, those are a couple trades that we've got coming up this week. Um, I do want to look at a corn chart before we go. I do like the corn market. I think it is continuing to move higher here. You can see we're in an uptrending market. So you want to take buy signals. We tried to buy it right in this area, but in holidays, uh, not enough volume, and the market slipped back, stopped us out, and now it's back to the bluff side. So that's another uh, market that I think is uh, wanting to move higher here is the uh, corn. We've had a lot of people ask about cattle and feeders, so we'll look at a chart on those real quick here. I think there is propensity for the live cattle market. It's in a downtrend right now. Seasonals peaked out in the 26 and turned lower. Same thing in the feeders. We have a market that's certainly in a downtrend, but trying to turn back higher here um, at this market. So we're staying on the sidelines. No recommendations at this time on either of those markets. Hope you have a great day, everybody. Uh, good luck trading. Oh, wait, we should talk about here our uh, trade history from 2014. If you start with a $10,000 account, we had uh, about 75 trades so far this year. That doesn't count the soybean trade that we're in or the wheat spread that we're in, um, but it does indicate we've had 44 wins, 31 losses, and our profit is 27,000 for the year. Um, if you use our money management calculator, we, you would change up instead of just doing one contract. This represents, this 27,000 represents 75 trades one contract each. This profit here is 86,000, substantially different, and uh, represents multiple contracts uh, to get to that area. So uh, give me a call. We can talk more about uh, that, but uh, we're going to post this on our website uh, in the month of January so you can take a look at uh, each and every trade that we did. Have a good day trading. Good luck. Give us a call if you have questions. It's been Brian Hoops.